and Pod Hat Associate News Editor Ariel Cohen here for another episode of That Girl with Senior Celeste Hall. So Celeste, what have you been up to recently? Well, the year has definitely been busy. It feels like the first two weeks have gone by really quickly. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was wonderful to see Convocation. It was a little bit bittersweet to see it for the last time this year, but always thrilling to welcome the newest class back to campus. So it certainly has been busy, especially with the job search on the horizon. Oh yes, I can only imagine. I know so, how you feel. So, speaking of the job search, I know the career fair is tomorrow and you're very involved in the business school. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. I'm a marketing major and then I also have a concentration in the process management and consulting concentration. Okay. And the career fair is tomorrow. There's an array of different industries and companies that will be represented. Mm -hmm. And in addition to studying at the business school, I'm also on the executive board for our Student Marketing Association. Oh wow, now what is that? That is an organization that we have on campus. It's about five people on our executive board, mm -hmm. and we hold bi-monthly events where we'll host executives from all over the country who've worked in a variety of industries or companies, or we'll also have professors speak. This last week we had our first event where we had an internship panel, which was really great for a lot of the students because they got to see their peers share their internship experiences. We had one student talk about his internship at Google and another at Facebook, so that really resonates a lot, I think, with students here. Yes, definitely. A lot of William & Mary students find some great summer internships. That's true. And I know that you've spent the past two summers interning with Sperry, so yeah. maybe you can tell us a little bit about that and how that's helped your business sort of path that you're taking? Sure. Well, I definitely love the brand, and that's what prompted me to reach out to them. They're located up in the Boston area, where I'm originally from, and it's really just been a wonderful experience. They're very valuable and has inspired me to look more into branding and strategy post-graduation. That's really cool. Do you think that on your William & Mary education has helped you in this process? Definitely. There is certainly a lot of requirements, especially when it comes to business. It seems like it took a long time to get to the classes that really interest me the most, but I know looking back that a lot of the things I learned in freshman spring, sophomore fall still definitely are valuable. Wow, and what has been the most fascinating class you've taken out of the business school? Um, I really liked consumer behavior. That one really... Um, makes you reflect on how you make decisions when you're shopping or what prompts your friends to make certain decisions. It's a lot of internal reflection. Wow, <laughs> yeah. So next time you go and spontaneously buy that impulse purchase, you can think through the process of what was behind it. <laughs> That's awesome. So I know in addition to your studies in the business school, you're also very involved in the theater department here at William & Mary. So can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, sure. Right next door to the business school, coincidentally. And we're very excited because, as you know, we have Glenn Close, an alum, coming back to campus in just a couple of weeks. So it's wonderful to see her support of the arts continue like this. And she will be receiving an award on campus with her husband. But we're really excited because the theater department has the opportunity to do a master class with her. Wow. So many of my classmates will be participating in that as well. That's really great. So you've done some plays during your time here at William & Mary. William & Mary puts on a few plays every year. And I hear that's a very dynamic experience for the people involved. So what do you like about doing plays at the college? I especially love musicals. I love singing and performing and dancing. Um, so I've been involved in three musicals throughout my time here, although I have seen all of the other plays and specific dance events. There's such a camaraderie among the students here, and it's amazing to me that even in addition to their talent and their ability to dedicate so much time to the theater department, they're also students at the same time and are also dedicated to many other organizations on campus. Because not all people who are in plays are necessarily theater majors. Right? Exactly. It's a very inclusive group. That's really great. So Celeste, looking back on your almost four years here at the college, what would you say to a freshman who's just starting their time here? Well, do you have any advice you give them? There are a lot of things that probably come to mind. Um, I would say just do as much as you can, I think, and also never lose sight of the friendships that you've made freshman year. It gets more difficult as you go through college to stay in touch with people, especially as people move off campus or study mm -hmm. abroad, but it's so much easier to keep in touch than we realize, and even just a phone call really goes a long way. So never really losing sight of those friendships and kind of rekindling them throughout college. Well, that's some great advice, Celeste. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ariel. And if you have anybody you'd like to see on that guy, email the flathead online.